Assalamu alaikum. My name is Muhammad Jafar Muhammad Al Hassan, an assistant clinical professor of medicine at the University of uh, California, San Francisco, and an academic hospitalist at the UCSF Fresno Center for Medical Education and Research in Fresno, California, in the United States. I would like to uh, briefly uh, introduce my paper that discusses the new educational activity that we established in our institution. We called it the Hospital of Saddle. It utilizes a principle of peer-to-peer -peer teaching to educate our medical students, interns, and residents about the practice of hospital medicine, a new and one of the fastest growing specialties in internal medicine in the United States. The hospitalist huddle is basically a weekly meeting held between the three teaching services in our large community teaching hospital. During the meeting, one senior resident is assigned to teach a hospital medicine topic to the interns and residents who are doing their inpatient rotation during that week. The faculty hospitalist acts as a facilitator during the teaching session. The presenting resident has the freedom to choose the hospital medicine topic and the method to deliver the presentation. The session usually takes about 30 minutes. Um, an anonymous electronic survey at the end of the first year of implementation was disseminated to the resident to inquire about how they perceive the educational value of the hospital as huddle. The results of that survey were encouraging and the huddle was perceived positively by our learners. Of all the 22 residents who responded to the survey, 87% mentioned that they were either satisfied or very satisfied with the huddle overall as an educational experience and that it's either very useful or probably useful. Most residents also think that the huddle can help second and third year residents improve their teaching skills. Similar number also believe that this activity can give residents useful clinical tips about how to manage patients during the general medical ward rotation. Most importantly, all but five residents think that the huddle creates a better environment for medical education and learning during general medical ward rotation. 62% of respondents would like their peers rather than attendings to prepare and present the session in support of the fact that peer and near peer teaching can be an appealing educational method to teach hospital medicine. Although the first year experience of our hospitalist huddle was valuable and encouraging, we recognized some areas that still need to be improved to augment its educational value. Reminders need to be sent earlier for residents to ensure adequate time for preparation and to improve attendance. Also, a more formal feedback mechanism to the presenting residents need to be created to help them improve their teaching skills. A workshop at the end of the internship year to educate interns about the expectations from the huddle can also be established with direct feedback from residents. I hope you will enjoy the paper and I appreciate any remarks or comments. Thank you.